The U.S. is evacuating about 100 special forces from an air base in Yemen. Sources tell CNN it's due to the deteriora deteriorating security situation in that country. CNN's inter senior international correspondent Nick Payton Walsh joining us by phone right now. So, Nick, is this the last of the American troops who were stationed there? That is said to be the case, yes. And obviously many of the U.S. operations in Yemen have been shrouded in secrecy, I mean, to the nature of what they are, advanced counter-terror operations uh, using drone aircraft to attack al-Qaeda and the Arabian Peninsula's leadership. But ever since the U.S. embassy was closed uh, back in January, so I think possibly February, as a result of the deteriorating security situation in Yemen, that counter-terror mission has been severely in jeopardy. Yes, Pentagon officials suggested they would be able to continue Continue much of what they could do, uh, perhaps remotely or from other locations, but lacking an embassy was a significant blow to that operation. Now, the remaining 100 special forces, or U.S. special forces in Yemen, have been or are in the process now of being evacuated. We are told, my colleague Barbara Starr is told, that is because in the area where uh, they were, there were on Thursday and Friday to apparent possible prison breaks in which al-Qaeda prisoners may have left detention facilities. That, of course, may have tipped the balance. Um, obviously, special forces can only protect themselves so much in a hostile environment like that. We are fast losing any capability we've had on the ground in Yemen. Uh, after the loss of the embassy, which was a severe blow, uh, we were able to at least keep these 100 special forces there. Now, that was, that was uh, deeply shrouded in secrecy. They were still able to do some operations and work very closely with their Yemeni counterparts. That capability now has gone, and we've got zero presence on the ground. This really complicates our efforts to go after uh, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. And as, as we all know, this is one of the more capable uh, al-Qaeda affiliates. They've actually mounted attacks against the United States. Fortunately, none of them have uh, succeeded, but they have the intent and the capability to do that.